Hi, <clears throat> I'm Barry Holland, the inventor of the Tinker Towel Bar. I'm here today to go over a few options on uh, how you can install the Tinker Towel Bar to give you a good, firm, solid installation that'll last for years. I'm going to go over um, installing it on a wood surface that's actually, the wood would be attached between two wall studs to give you a very solid insulation and also installing the Tinker Towel Bar on drywall with drywall grommets which if you use the right grommets uh, the toggle style you'll get a really strong secure trouble free mount also so give me one sec uh, one second and we'll get everything set up and uh, we'll start the install okay so here we've mounted a small three inch by one inch board across the span of uh, two wall studs. If you choose to do something like that, it actually looks pretty clean. Uh, nice great background with the, the mounting board in white, matching the door and the window. So, as you would with a stud finder, you would see that there is your wall stud the center of it and it's been screwed at that hole carrying on over to the next one and there's that stud and then on on off off of the stud so these are very handy little devices and I'm sure most people have one if you haven't uh, either one before they're really inexpensive and I'm sure you'll use them quite a bit for your home improvement projects so that's one way to mount a couple of bars. Uh, that's about 26 inches against uh, two 24 inch apart wall studs. So it uh, gives you plenty of room to mount two Tinker Towel Bars at 14 inches wide with a minimum of two inches between. So here we're gonna mount uh, uh, two Tinker Towel Bars below this window on a piece of wood that's uh, been installed to give it a solid mount. Uh, this wood has been attached to two wall studs to give you a firm attachment with no worries. It could take a, a lot of abuse, the towel bar and roughness uh, without it uh, failing its mount as compared to drywall. Uh, here we, you can see where we've removed a 24 inch, standard 24 inch towel bar. And we just want to clean the holes out, the old screw holes, and spackle this up. Prepare the surface for the new installation of the Tinker Chow Bar. So just like you would with any other spackle job, just want to make sure the holes are full. We'll give them a chance to dry. I've got a couple of screws here that are holding this this board, this one by three board, to the wall on the studs here. The screws, the screws are protruding a little bit, but that's not a problem because those will actually be very hid behind the bracket for the Tinker Towel Bar. So there we're all uh, spackled up, and just wait for that to dry, and then we'll prep the surface, sand, and paint the surface. So I'm back, I will use a 3 seconds inch bit, which as you can see is about the size of the core of the 3 16 screw. And we'll just go ahead and drill our holes. Double check the measurement. 15 sixteenths. And 15 sixteenths. Very good.
All right. <clears throat> so we'll take our screw into our bottom hole and install it without too much, without making it too tight. Okay, there you see there's a benefit. I'll show you one in one second, the benefit of getting it level by having just that single bottom mounting hole. These are inch and a half screws. Deep enough into this into the wood to give us a really secure hole to hold. A little bit of torque. Same with this one, just relatively level. Get to bite a bit. <clears throat> now just back that off so the plate moves freely just a little bit of torque so it wants to sit not too tight. Same thing with this one. There we go. Now the benefit of mounting two bars side by side at the same height is you can level them both out and make sure everything's level. Make sure one bar is going to be level with the other one and everything's level together by mounting the mounting plates level. So we're level all intents and purposes. Now we can hold the, the level in position and tighten these screws because now we know that the base screw, the bottom screw in each of these plates will hold it level because we just confirmed everything's level. It's touching on the left and right side of each clip, so everything's level. So with the level, without even having to mark screws, this is a 1364 inch drill bit, and that's a 1364 inch hole. So we just hold everything level, make sure nothing moves, and drill that hole about a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch with the drill bit that's the same size as the hole in the bracket, 1364. And the reason for that is now that gives us a guide for the bit that was just undersized from the thickness of the screw. Now we can go right to the center of the quarter inch holes that we drilled. 1364 holes, quarter inch deep. Find the center of it. The larger bit gave us a center point to guide a hole for a smaller bit, which is for our screw. You can see that we're centered. to our screw bit. The battery's getting dead. Okay. So, back to our screws. everything should be center. If you want to mount one higher than the other, if you're mounting to drywall, you can mount one bar four or five inches higher or whatever uh, height looks aesthetically pleasing to you. If you like to have one of your, your Tinker Towel bars displaying a towel with the bar down, and one displaying a towel with the bar up as such. If 
you were to mount them just on drywall, you would, and you wanted to make sure the top of this one bar matched the bottom of this bar in this position, you could just measure that height accordingly um, to stagger, to stagger them so that <clears throat> when they were, everything was mounted straight in the, in the dry mode, your bars one would be six inches, five, four, five, six inches higher or lower than the other one. It makes for a nice waterfall effect, but just keeping those things in mind is it's always nice to have somebody to help you so you can mount your bars. Just get a general idea where you want them before you start taking your measurements and drilling your holes. All right, now what I'd like to do is uh, show you a few options in uh, drywall anchors that are available these days. There's quite a few uh, unique new designs that have come out in recent years that offer a much better load bearing capability. There's one in particular, another style of anchor. Uh, these are pretty popular, been around for a while. And Pretty effective. I would recommend not using these particular type of, of anchors. They're just a very light duty and they don't open up uh, and give much support <clears throat> as these other toggle type uh, anchors do. I'm going to install these all through this piece of half inch drywall just so you can see on the back side <clears throat> how much surface area each particular anchor gives you for support in the back of the drywall once it's installed. So this is a new anchor, a new toggle style of anchor that's come out recently and it gives you quite a bit of support. It's actually pretty easy to install. You just use your Phillips screwdriver right into the end of the anchor. And as you can see on the, on the end of it, the, it has a, a screw type of an auger which digs right through the Drywall. I think it's best to use uh, a hand-driven screwdriver opposed to a, uh, a drill type. That way you have a control with it and it's pretty simple. You just start to turn it and you can feel it bite into the drywall. And just with a little bit of force, keeping it steady, you can see as you come down with a little bit of force, it actually turns. You can feel it turn and embed flush into the drywall. You don't want to over rotate that. <clears throat> now once that anchor has been installed you can see on the the end of it there's an arrow. Now that little arrow shows you which direction this toggle is going to kick out. So just to show you without going through the drywall, assuming this was in drywall, as you <clears throat> install the screw, the screw which activates it and also the screw which you'll use to anchor whatever you're anchoring, in this case the Tinker Towel Bar. As you can see, as you, you screw the screw in, it kicks, it kicks the toggle out, knocks it over 90 degrees. And as you screw into the wall, it actually, the screw enters a hole in the toggle. You can see as you uh, as as if, if, as if it was in the wall now. As you turn the screw, you can see the toggle move down the entire anchor. And assuming my finger was the wall, you see it squeeze down on my finger or onto the drywall. And you see, want to snug that up so you can see that that has about an inch and a half of area behind the hole that you've drilled uh, supporting quite a bit of weight with this particular one. These ones as I say they just don't, you'll see they won't give you near the support you'll need. And this one's pretty good as you 
you drill your hole for the recommended size here. This one is a 3 16 toggle, so it takes, it's going to take just over a quarter inch. Yeah, about that. Okay, now I'm going to just drill the holes quickly for these various types of anchors. This one requires a half inch hole. This one requires a 3 8 inch hole drilled in the drywall. And uh, these little plastic ones, uh, they require a quarter inch hole. So I like to use these auger type of a wood bit because they've got a really predominant sharp point and they, it, if you just drill slowly you'll be able to stay within that hole without having a lot of wobble. So I'm just going to drill these holes right now. Here's one with a quarter inch. Just drill slow and straight. There's a quarter inch hole. And then in that quarter inch hole, I'm going to install this style, which I really like this style. I've, I've used it quite a bit for mounting the towel bars. And they give you quite a bit of contact area on the back, <clears throat> give you a lot of support. They simply, and all of these come with instructions, they simply just fold this over and then that's inserted in the hole. The one I've just drilled and just a little tap is all it takes to get it in. You can actually push it in with your finger and it's flush. That one, it's pretty simple. Alright, so I've gone ahead and pre-drilled the holes for the particular anchors. This type of toggle anchor takes the 3 8 hole. And there's the 3 8 hole, and you see it fits in snug. And it just requires tap to get that surface flat against the drywall. And then there's this type of anchor which consequently has about the largest toggle but it does take a pretty large hole, a half inch hole to uh, install it so just, to, just to, to note that I guess. So this one, as like I say all these have come with for instructions so this just folds back and inserts into the wall that way as it comes through the other side it snaps through. As you can see on the back here now, the one we just installed, it snaps through and uh, this little tab keeps it in this position. So when you're installing the take your towel bar clip, it's important to remember that you have one hole on the bottom and two holes on the top. And uh, when the towel bar comes over this and mounts to this, most of the force is with gravity, the down force, so that's why we've designed it with the two on the top. And then the one hole on the bottom makes it really easy to install it and get it level because it can swivel off of that one hole. And you'll see that here just shortly. So just keeping in mind that uh, you're going to want this bottom, if you use this type of toggle, you're going to want this on the bottom hole, you're going to want it in that position. And then on these top holes, you're going to want it either at an angle, but most likely straight up and down like that. Once again, the bottom one would be across, the top ones would be straight up and down. So just be mindful of the direction you install it. And there's indicators on the front, front of these devices to tell you, the, the arrows show you the direction.